And so yet, we take another trip into the young adult world of books turned into movies. Is it too late to go to the library right now? Divergent. Divergent is be Divergent is um the first book in the best selling um in the best selling um series best selling dystopian Hunger Games esque series by Veron by Veronica Roth and basically um is is, is yeah one of the uh, one of the many book to movie adaptations we've got but this one actually it's not quite as bad. It's but for the Okay, first of all, custom, okay, first of all, um, I have not read the book, the books in the series, but the film's basically about like, about like, about like futuristic uh, or dystopian Chicago, where well, all the residents are delved into different societies that determine who they are. You have like the average, the abagnation, abagnation, which are basically like the selfish people who basically um gives basically give to people. You got like erudite um. Which are more the brain? Which are more the brain? Which are more the brain slap? The brain, the brain slash the law people, the business, the, the the brainiac people, and then we also, and then right here we have Dauntless. Right here we have Dauntless, who are more the the high tech police, high tech warrior people who like defend the city and such, and do all kinds of things, all kinds of things. And last but not least, we, uh, last but not least, there's there's Amity, is Amity, who I really don't know much about. So basically, the film's cast, the film's cast for this movie is actually pretty good. You got like Kate Winslet, Theo James, Kate, um, Shailene Woodley, uh, actually, sorry, um, we got, for this film we got like Shailene Woodley, Theo James, Kate Winslet, Miles Teller, Tony Goldwyn, Ashley Judd, and Ray Stevenson. All of which are pretty great actresses. Now Shailene Woodley, uh, uh, it's actually it's actually a great actress. Like I haven't seen her much. I have seen I have seen her in snippets of *The Secret Life of American Teenager*, and she, and she also gave great performances in the *Spectacular Now* and the, *The Descendants*. So basically, and I gotta say, she does a very surprisingly good job of carrying this movie. And and, and that's kind of saying a lot because not many. I won't. It's hard to say that she become like the next Jennifer Lawrence, as all people are speculating, but. I think I think she actually she holds a better on her own than, than like riding on Jeff on JL's court tales because not if because because well basically 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 do I like Doug's movie yeah I do and a lot of people and, and of course a lot of people kind of when a lot of people speculating over this movie and, and it was seeming a lot of mixed views it kind of felt like um to, to a lot of people um. Uh, the way I push this movie is I kind of see this movie having the same problem that people also had with Inception. Now don't get me wrong, Inception is one of the big is by far one of the is one is by far one of my favorite movies of all my second favorite movie of all time, and of course, and of course, it is in my opinion the magnum opus of Christopher Nolan because the film is not the film is a wholly original, b b it deals with, it deals with the subject matter not people. That, um, that not many people that no one has has really covered, and three, um, and three, the themes, especially the plot twists, are not are not predictable, are not are not, are not predictable, and the cast is always top notch. Everyone brings their A game, and just it just makes the movie more interesting. But however, the problem the problem that the movie suffer that the Divergent suffers is that Inception also suffers is the fact that is, is that both of them are the, the, all the themes and a lot of the the and things a lot of stuff about this movie is extremely complex and not a lot of people seem to understand understand which kind of which kind of really ticks me off in my opinion. And the thing the thing about that is, is that a lot of people um I kind of, and because a lot of people have read the book it does kind of leave a lot of people scratching their heads and uh, scratching their heads and a lot of stuff in in the book is really thought provoke thought provoking and is kind of more thought provoking than complex but. But not all people. Um, but, but but the thing about the book series is that it, is that a lot of people like to have themselves challenged. They like to have like big vocabulary words, and they like, and they also like to have like the um, the brains challenged. Like like they're supposed to pay 
attention to the book. And when I watch a movie, they're supposed to pay attention to the movie. They're not supposed to have, like, spoon-fed through an IV, like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is happening, oh, yeah, I hate that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and basically, what a lot of people saw Inception, they kind of had a, had a problem. Um, and they were like, nah, it's confusing, I don't understand this, I hate this. But when I saw Inception, I will admit that, I will admit that it did take me a while to get used to the movie, but that just made it all the more interesting. But, but of course, um, uh, uh, as complex as the film was, it was, it was not only really complex, but it was also brilliant, smart, thrilling, and basi basically thoroughly entertaining. So, I don't want to see much of a difference between the two. But, 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 I really did enjoy this movie more than most of the young adult, young adult book series, uh, uh, book series turned movies I've heard, I've heard that, but the one thing I actually had, the, the problem I had with this movie was basically the villainous movie. Now, the villainous movie is the you write leader, Janine Jean, Matthews, Matthews, played by Key Winslet. She basically wants her faction to, her faction to, like, rule over, rule over the government, rule over the government so they can basically run it basically her way. Now, Key Winslet, um, I don't want really to see her. Akira okay, well, isn't exactly like the best actress to put to play a villain for the first time. The first time, and she she is a great actress, and she's proven that in Titanic and several other movies. But for this film, I I just thought she was kind of shoehorned almost. And when I saw the character. I was like, um, um, she kind she kind of looks like the live action version of Doctor of Doctor Bly from Captain um from the Captain Planet series. It, series. I do like that. I do like that series, and I somewhat like Doctor Bly, but. But put the two two together, and I don't think that's a great combination. So, so, so um, so basically, the main premise is like um, Shane Willie plays this young girl, plays this teenage girl um named Beatrice Pryor, Pryor, and she, her brother, and she and her brother are being sold into factions, factions based on their blood. They can choose with whatever whatever they want to go into. Going to, however, however, during the tests, she finds out she finds out that she's she's belongs to three types of people, other than unknown as a divergent, because of her, because according to to, to Winslet, divergents threaten the system, and, um, and she kind of sees divergents at and, and divergents as like threats to threats to the government, like people who are extremely intelligent and want to overthrow the government. It's a bit, it's a basically in her opinion, they have to be off with, but off with before um, this can be taken. Off before they, before they, before this could go into action. And how I, and, oh, 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 I really thought this movie came out really great. The acting was the acting was superb. Like Shailene Woodley, the uh, uh, all the actors are really good. Like Shailene Woodley, uh, Theo James. Um, I have seen he does give a good performance in Golden Boy, but uh, as far as movie acting goes, he felt kind of. Wouldn't almost. Kate Winslet, I didn't think was too. I didn't think was too well. I thought that they could try a better act, a better actor for the role, a, a better actress for the role. But that's my opinion. Miles Teller was actually great. Um, was actually great. Was actually great as well. And so were actually, and so were actually, Judd, Ray Stevenson, Tony Goldwyn. Basically, the entire. And so we, and so we, Basically, the entire cast was great, especially Zoe Kravitz. I really thought she was great as well. She's she's basically the daughter of Cinna from the Hunger Games, and, and so I so I thought that was pretty uh, that was pretty awesome. And really, overall, this movie actually stands up stands up really well from from all, all the other books uh, books I've seen and uh, I've seen. It, see, it doesn't fall into the into the there is a romance in this movie, and it it doesn't really feel shoe doesn't really feel shoehorned. It's not really as cheesy or cheesy or Cliched as like as like um, the tw as like some other romances, and one thing one thing you gotta get this movie props to is not it doesn't fall into the stereotypical Twilight or stereotypical rom um the Twilight or the host host romance mode. So basically, you gotta get movie credit credit for that. I know I did. So overall, for this movie, does it hold up well? Yes. Um, is the cast great? Of course. Of does the movie uh, does the movie hold up enough as its own as its own and does it surpass it better than the book? Uh, uh not really. And that's one thing people like. Uh, uh, that's movie. That's one thing I have to talk about in this movie. A lot of people actually like the book better than the movie, and because in the book you actually um, uh, the book is just as complex, but you at least have answers to the questions that you want, uh, that you want to. Uh, uh, that you. Uh, 
that you want. Like I haven't read the I have not read the books prior to the movie, but other but all in all, I still thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Uh, this mo movie. I can't really. Um, overall, I have to say that the movie is definitely a great time at half price. So overall, so overall, that's all, that, all to say for the Virgin. What you guys think? Comment down below. I want to know what you want to know. Be sure, to, be sure to check out Facebook and like as well. And, and if want, if want to see more, hit subscribe and click down below. Bye.